What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Stunner Reese, and I'm back with another video, man. And today, guys, is another episode of Flipping House with Stunner, man. You can see we got the Pup Pup Prez here. We also got my man Jesus is here. He actually got the guys inside finishing up the rest of the demo, tearing up the floors because he's going to put new floors throughout the whole entire house. All right. So they in there working, man. So I'm going to show y'all a little bit today, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for this whole video. Don't skip no ass, man. Let's get it. Let's go. You might learn something, man, on how to make some money flipping houses. Let's get it. <laughs> Yeah, boy, you know he the man. Yellow, y'all can't put your cat in the can. Pull up and pull off of something real fast. Drag out that drink, got my foot on the gas. We smoke out your block, no, we don't need no fan. Most of the car, you can keep your sedan. Fish head the wood like that trout in the pan. Your stoner is killing me, rapping the bridge. We fill up the street, yeah, them tires be screeching. The squeezing be rapping, we swear when we speeding. Hit the subscribing and like, and I mean it. Hit the subscribing and like, and I mean it. <laughs> Alright, here we go, man. We're about to show y'all what's going on. As you can see, man, I already took down those ugly ass green shutters because they're gonna repaint this whole entire house. They're gonna repaint the banisters, sturdy them up and everything. Um just want everything nice and, uh, and solid when uh, I get ready to sell this place. Uh, I have picked out my colors, but I'm not going to tell y'all the colors just yet, so y'all just stay tuned for that. My boy Vern at Ultimate Lawn Care Service came over and took care of the grass, and it looks a thousand percent better. He's going to come back and cut down this Christmas tree looking tree right here, which people actually left the Christmas lights on it, man. Y'all see them right there? But yeah, he's going to take down these bushes as well. I want a nice manicured looking lawn when I'm done. Also, I'm going to add a slab right here or some type of slab right here to park an additional car in this driveway. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna go all the way out or if I'm gonna just do it to the sidewalk, but uh, I don't know, we'll see. I might do like a little angle here and then go to the slab. That way, if a car is parked up there, they won't have to drive through the grass to actually get into the street. But the one thing that I noticed when I bought this house just recently or after I bought it is that there's no parking on this side of the street. So you can only park on that side of the street. So I definitely gonna have to add that additional parking over here so that I can uh, have some more parking. We got a couple of little things going on with the grass right here anyway. I don't really have to worry about, but there's some type of, I don't know if this is a, a Ant mole hill or something going on right there and then again something right here it looks like they probably had some big pottery plants or something going on at one time and uh yeah so that don't really matter because like i said we're gonna put a concrete slab right here gotta try to do some touch-ups to all the concrete and everything to make that look nice gotta put my sign back up they took it out when they was cutting the grass no trespassing at all but yeah let me take y'all inside man kind of show y'all what we got going on can't wait to get this house painted it looks so much better Pretty much in this whole property 
seem like they're in pretty good shape. You know what I'm saying? Don't need a lot of work on it. There's a piece of, piece of tape everywhere though on all the walls for some reason. They must have had a lot of stuff taped on the walls. Um, so yeah, I picked out my colors. It's going to be a nice property when I'm done. All the windows are in very good shape. They just need to be cleaned and stuff like that. There's a couple of pieces missing on a couple of them. The little pins, but that's nothing, uh, you know, that's too hard to get done and get replaced. Freaking tape everywhere. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, same thing with this bedroom. Not a lot of drywall even touch-ups that need to be done. I mean, it's, it's very, very minimal. Um, we're going to install the ceiling fans up here, the glass doors. But yeah, shout out to my man Shanky who did the initial uh, demo on this place. He got all the carpet, got all the molded drywall out of the basement, uh, got all the kitchen cabinets and stuff out of here. Shout out to him, man, for uh, hooking that up for me. Definitely, uh, appreciate your shank. It's gonna look like a whole different place when I'm done. There's the bedroom, which is the, the master. Now, I'm gonna show you guys down in the basement what I'm doing with the bedroom down there. And you guys tell me what you think if I should make that the master or if I should make this the master. But this is the master, it's a nice size room. It's definitely uh, a nice king bed in here along with dresser, you know, uh, and things like that, TV. You know, you can launch a TV on that wall if you choose. Um, so it's a few different configurations you could do in this bedroom and have it really nice if you want to do a wall on a TV or something. Uh, I'm gonna do the mirror, the mirror doors right here, of course, and you know, just make it look really nice. It's a decent sized closet. I'm not really complaining about the size of the closet. It's, it's enough for Monique stuff. Uh, my actual clothes are gonna be downstairs in the downstairs closet, so that's gonna be my closet, and this will be hers. But let me show you what's going on downstairs. course you know we are replacing this whole lower drywall there was a crack in the foundation I, I know you guys probably seen my other video but this crack right here is uh being repaired they actually gonna be digging up the outside and uh repairing it from the outside and the inside so that's gonna be repaired and that allowed water to get down in here in the basement along with the fact that the sump pump wasn't working and we had water coming up through the screen here. Now, this bedroom is definitely smaller than the upstairs bedroom I just showed you, but I wanna show you what I'm doing with this bedroom. All right, so here's what I'm doing with this bedroom. I am actually going to keep the configuration pretty much the same. Closet is definitely smaller, but what I'm doing is I'm adding a powder ba bathroom right here, which is simply gonna just be a toilet and a sink. So this is gonna be a door here. We're gonna remove this electrical uh, right here. And there's gonna be a door right here. And we are going to add a little bathroom, which is gonna be on the other side, inside the, uh, actually utility room right now. So, just imagine the toilet being in this area and the sink being in this area. Now, I gotta leave enough room to put a stackable washer and dryer right here and still be able to service the water tank and the furnace when I need it. So, there'll be basically a wall here, 
and the wall going back there and there will be enough room to get my utilities back my uh washer and dryer back there and that's pretty much gonna be it so it's gonna be just a, just a powder room it's not gonna be a full bath with a shower or a tub or anything but it'll be a nice little addition and it'll definitely bring more money on the flip as far as the comps um this is a four bedroom and with a one and a half bath the comps is actually a lot better versus just a one bath uh, a lot of people kind of get scared when you got four bedrooms and only one bathroom i mean that's a that's a big difference so uh and you never know a normal family might come in and buy this place and they might just use this as an office space or something which they'll have the option to do that this window is open close it Cut. All right, we back, man. I had to latch these window latches. They both worked, but it was just me trying to do it with one hand. But anyway, uh, so yeah. So what do you guys think in reference to this? Now, like I said, the size of the room is not as big as the upstairs, but it is gonna have that additional bath. So should I list this as the master down here? which is a little getaway because if you got a bunch of kids they can all be upstairs it may not make too much sense but they'll all be upstairs and you'll have your own little private area down here where you can walk out and uh you know have your tv out here uh and you know watch tv and it's gonna kind of be like a whole little downstairs couple suite but you know they're gonna be upstairs terrorizing each other having a lot of fun making a whole lot of noise if you leave them kids upstairs by themselves. But it is what it is. But yeah, so I don't know guys. I just want to get y'all opinion on that. Um, I'm not putting any ceiling fans down here. I'm only putting the ceiling fans on the upper level. I will probably be changing these lights, but uh won't be any ceiling fans, so freaking tape everywhere. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So they gotta tear this whole floor up today. Um, actually, the ceramic towel is actually going to stay down. They can just add my new towel, my new floor on top of this. They do have to tear up this wood area. And they do have to take up that laminate. But uh, everything's gonna be really, really nice once it's done. Of course, we gotta re-insulate it. Um, check for leaks, you know, around the rest of the baseboards down here and make sure that there's no more leaks coming in from anywhere else except for that one crack that you can physically see. Also, I have to uh, take you guys outside and show you a couple more things that we got going on outside. Huh? Take me a picture so I can get some tips. <laughs> yeah, I got you. I'm gonna definitely let them know, man, where they can get you. Now I got a little, look like it used to be a, maybe a sandbox right here. Uh, I'm gonna definitely clean all this grass out of here and see exactly what's going on underneath there. Uh, we got a big pile of grass over there. Gotta bag that up too. That, but I did not know this when I bought this place. This is like an old abandoned doghouse, man. Maybe a pet cemetery. I don't even want to go over there. Old plant. And then I got this concrete slab here. This looked like this used to be a shed um, at one time. I used to sit here. But yes, yeah, big concrete slab here as well. Um, like I said, I'm going to take that uh, satellite dish down because I don't like that. Uh, everything's gonna be white. Got a 
man, nice looking, uh, relatively new looking uh, heating and air conditioning uh, AC unit here. Looks like it's in good shape. So I'm excited to see if that works. Haven't tested it yet. Uh, gotta still get the water cut on here. Yeah. Right here. Digging up for the other side of the crack right there. So we're gonna repair from the outside and the inside. Uh, like I said earlier, nothing wrong with the roof. The roof is in excellent condition. It's gonna be a nice little house, man. So somebody gonna get a really, really nice house once it's done. And trust me, once I put my touches on it, um, it's gonna be really, really nice. So yeah, y'all just stay tuned, man. So <sighs> day one of construction has started. So what it is man so y'all make sure y'all if y'all are interested in learning how to do these flips man make sure y'all stay in tune with my channel hit that subscribe button get in tune with me follow me on instagram at stunner underscore reese also make sure that you guys watch the full playlist of flipping houses with stunner that's what this whole entire flip is going to be on and man just, you know just you know hopefully pick up some knowledge and hopefully anybody that's inspired to do this on your own you'll have the ability to do it all right but just like that man this video is over it's your boy stunna re-signing out till next time i'm out peace hey hey, hey. Okay, uh, subscribe share uh what does it like for you miguel like. subscribe square like square oh, yeah. shit <laughs> all right subscribe, subscribe square yeah subscribe share and like square. So it ain't it, 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 it's square. <laughs> it's square. And share. Alright, that's Subscribe so. to my man.